okay fine got it okay so what what are you doing currently like i have uh, have a experience of 8 months in pwc then i left my job and prepared for gate exam and you graduated from where jntu college hyderabad okay jntu college hyderabad great place so can you draw the voltage transfer characteristics of operational amplifier yes sure please If the gain is higher, okay. then it will go to saturation. Okay. What what basically you are trying to convey? What information you are trying to convey with this characteristics? Or what I can interpret as a learner from this? Can you explain? This? Like if uh, the if the input voltage is given, then if uh, mm -hmm. output voltage output is coming greater than the saturation voltage, then the output will go to plus V set or it will go to the minus V set. Okay, so if I want to use my open as an amplifier, so which region you will prefer? As an amplifier. In the same characteristics, whatever characteristics you just now draw, in that, can you tell me for what range you will allow it to work as an amplifier? In the negative feedback, you can use it. No, oh, that is perfectly fine. Right now, you plot one graph, na? Right, so that is output versus input. Can you tell me in that graph only by dividing that into two regions, right? One region, two regions. Mm -hmm. And can you just mention which region it can work as an amplifier in your graphical? Like in that linear region where uh, the V input is coming as V output by V sat by V output, V output by gain. Okay, fine. So then, why why you to basically introduce the negative feedback? What was the reason to introduce negative feedback? Negative feedback for applications like open loop is very much uh, sensitive. So to desensitize it, you have to use a negative. It feedback. is sensitive with respect to what? With respect to temperature or manufacture manufacturing parameters, processing and all. Okay, fine. So, can you just tell me some application of the operational amplifier in the saturation region? In the saturation, it can be used as a comparator, schmidt trigger. Mm -hmm. Schmidt so, trigger is an idle comparator or practical comparator? It's a practical comparator. Why it's a practical comparator? Because it will eliminate the noise. How it eliminates the noise? It is having an upper threshold voltage and a lower threshold voltage. So, depending upon that, the noise. Uh, if it if it goes above the upper threshold voltage, then only it will go to plus V set. Or if it goes below the load, then only go to minus V set. But uh, I don't think the information is true. It is the exact answer. Hmm? It, uh, no, answer is very true. Whatever information you convey, that is perfectly true. But the way you portrayed it, that doesn't uh, satisfy me as an answer. Hmm? You could have told me, sir, because a comparator is supposed to make transition only at the desired point. Right. So if we make a idle comparator, open loop comparator, it's an open loop, open ended, right? So if there is a slight disturbance, it can take a multiple transitions. Yeah, yeah. Right. But in case of the schema trigger, it allows transition once when input crosses the upper threshold and okay. once the input crosses the lower threshold. Okay. So there is that margin between the you know upper threshold and lower threshold. That much questions we are allowing that that much amplitude of noise can be bearded and tolerated. But unfortunately, noise is not that much enough that it can make transition more than that. That is why it's a practical comparator. So if you see the my answer and your answer, both are somewhere the same thing. But my answer is as per the uh, requirement, what is being asked, right? Okay. Information if you find in both information is identical. But uh, the context is a bit different, right? Okay. So it? there are, yeah. So schematic trigger is a bistable multivibrator or a stable multivibrator? It's bistable multivibrator. Why it's a bistable? Because it's having two stable state plus V set and minus V set. What do you understand by stable state? Stable means it will not go from it's not uh, unstable. Like it when trigger is given, trigger is given, it will go to the stable state without trigger. It what is what what is trigger here? Then what is trigger in the schema trigger? You can give a switch as a trigger. What's your name? Joshna. Joshna. So don't you think that in schema trigger you are giving input that is always working as a trigger? Hmm? Yes, so output keep on, you know, once the input process that threshold, then only the output will change. So if you remove the output, uh, you know, input, it will not change its state. For a moment, assume in the schema trigger, you remove the input and make it perfectly ground. If you're making it simple ground, so it will not change itself. 
because output will stay at either plus reset either minus reset yes. getting my point or not right can we go ahead yes sir okay let us suppose uh, i have one sine wave and uh, that sine wave peak amplitude is 2 millivolt okay right and i want to rectify it tell me the suggestion sine wave you have to rectify it mm -hmm. you can use a diode and a resistor by giving this as an input but uh, okay. miss josna don't you think diode need 0.7 voltage to get on and i am saying the peak voltage is in the millivolts hmm? and then we can amplify it using an uh, some device like bjt or operation amplifier and then we can give it to any other alternate mm -hmm. Have you heard about super diode? Have you heard about precision rectifier by using operational amplifier? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, why I'm asking this question? In very first question, you told me that it's a very high gain amplifier. If yes. you are making that statement and in succession I'm giving this question and there you're forgetting that statement, then it doesn't make sense to me as an interviewer, right? Okay. So, operational amplifier is a basically you know amplifier which can convert any millivolt microvolt signal into a significant range and you can further perform the task okay mm -hmm. somewhere your answer was right we can use the amplifier but uh, obviously it will increase a lot of component power expenditure cost and all come into picture right okay, okay. so please think wisely so see point interview is always technical interview is always about your awareness right if you listen the question carefully and if you start thinking what can be the best answer i'm sure you will do it but if you believe okay what is being asked to me let me check whether i have read the about this or not then you will be always in that trouble yes okay can we go ahead yes okay so we talk about the frequency response of an amplifier right mm -hmm. <laughs> So why we need to study frequency response? What is the need of frequency response? To what is frequency response basically? Like to know the stability and all uh, time constant. Can you explain? Can you can you ex can you explain it in more detail regarding stability? What do you mean by stability? Stability like a bounded input should give me a bounded output. ये तो कंट्रोल का स्टेबिलिटी हो गया दोस्तों इट्स नॉट अ स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एनालॉग सिस्टम ओके लेट मी फ्रेम क्वेश्चन अदर वे व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय द स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एम्पलीफायर बिकॉज़ यू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस टर्म दैट इज व्हाई आई एम फ्रेमिंग माय क्वेश्चन व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ एम्पलीफायर गिविंग अ डिस्टॉर्शनलेस आउटपुट ओके कैन यू बी बिट मोर इलैबोरेटिव like uh, it the when i give a sign input then the output should not be the output should be of the same form as the input it should not get clipped or something can i say amplifier can also work as a filter yeah how justify like a high pass filter of a low pass filter by how taking a Like you can use a resistor and a capacitor along with the open. Oh, that is a circuit arrangement. But uh, from working point of view, how you can justify and explain me that if I am provided with an amplifier, I can use this as a filter also. My question is. Making it operate only at uh, low frequencies. By using resistors and capacitors. Okay, so just now see. Uh, let me come to the first question first. Frequency response is basically a response of any system, or its behavior with respect to frequency. Yeah. If I'm talking about amplifier, the key parameter which characterizes the operation of amplifier that is the gain. So frequency response for the amplifier will be gain versus frequency. so okay. see you might have seen we have multiple kind of amplifier because signal can be of low signal it can be of high frequency it can be of the very high frequency right so yeah. you can't use one amplifier for all kind of signal there are some specific set of amplifier different amplifiers so if you want to know that the given amplifier will be working as a faithful amplifier or efficient amplifier for a particular range of frequency you must know its bandwidth so that is the bandwidth so bandwidth define those range of frequency over which that amplifier will give the constant gain irrespective of the frequency it may happen that your signal is carrying frequency from 40 to 70 kilohertz mm -hmm. so if your amplifier is giving different amp uh, gain at different frequency in this range so that will be distorted right there will be distortion some voice you will you know be very highly audible some very low some very high some very low 
we always wanted a faithful amplifier, efficient amplifier to have its frequency response flat or constant with value greater than one because it's an amplifier for that desired range of frequency. So that all information we got basically from the frequency response, right? And second question was succession to this also. You might have heard about many amplifiers like band pass amplifier, tuned amplifier, low pass amplifier, high pass amplifier, direct coupled amplifier. Ultimately, they are categorized on the basis of the frequency of operation. Each amplifier is capable of doing amplification for some spe specific set of frequency, not for the entire range of frequency. And any device which is doing some objective for some specific set of frequency, that itself is a filter itself, right? So when is your interview, Jusna? 16th. So you have ample of time. So I will give you some time. Prepare again and appear. And don't get confused. You're getting nervous, I believe. Okay? So don't feel and don't get nervous. See, interviews all about like this. You can't say, okay, I'm perfectly prepared for interviews. It's all about your uh, instantaneous, uh, you know, thinking, imagination, visualizations, and promptness. How much you can interpret the question like I told you to draw the voltage or transfer characteristics and you draw it beautifully. I asked you what is the interpretation. So you can directly tell me, sir, there are two regions in the waveform. One is the linear region, one is the saturation region. It basically tell me that operational amplifier can be operated in two modes, either linear, either non-linear. Non-linear and saturation are the same thing. Then start explaining further that yes, saturation will jaga wo ho jayega. The first answer must be relevant to that question which is being asked. As it's like I'm asking something else, somebody answering something else. I am asking from my point of view, he's answering from his knowledge based point of view. So that sometimes can be a problem. I hope you got my point, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to ask? Yeah, sir, like in BDL, what subjects are important to learn? For BDL communication, you do communication, don't miss the communication, okay? And in communication, especially EMFT is required. They ask a lot of questions from EMFT, I suggest you, okay? And a signal system you do, and uh, analog electronics you are doing, that is more than enough. And uh, I request you better have some reference idea of radar and microwave also. Fundamental idea, not in the detail. The radar range equation and microwave amplifiers, microwave oscillators, what is microwave frequency band, which bands are frequently used, this kind of information, right? Okay, uh, okay Josna, thank you. And uh, thanks. thanks for your